One of the presentations that we gave yesterday was on the comparison between what you can measure with an MRI in a patient with, uh, in, in the case of the presentation we gave yesterday, it was focused on patients with language problems, progressive aphasias as they're called, and you can measure abnormalities in the structure of their brain with MRI, and you can measure abnormalities in the functioning of their brain with, among other things, uh, glucose PET scans. And what is clear is that there are some situations where the uh, the, the, the shrinkage of the brain that you can measure with MRI uh, is the, basically the same reflection uh, of what you get when you measure the problems in the functioning of the brain, as it's called hypometabolism, with glucose PET scans. In other situations, the functioning of the brain is disrupted in a place that's distant from the part of the brain that's degenerating and probably is disrupted because of the connections to that distant area. It may be that some of those connections are predictive of where the disease is going to progress as it, as it uh, moves forward. And that's some of what we're trying to understand with our comparisons of these two different imaging measures.